Hello. If you're listening to this right now, it means you are about to graduate. First, I want to say congratulations. Congratulations. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations to my students. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2019. I'm so proud of you, class of 2019. You did it. Know that you still impact me today, long and beyond CP. Um, so congratulations, thank you, miss you all. Congratulations. Congratulations on being the first class from Portland, Oregon to graduate with College Possible. One thing I want to tell you on this huge milestone of your college graduation is to just remember that you were successful in this really hard journey because you did it in a way that was authentic to who you are and where you come from. The biggest thing I would tell my students on graduation day is Look what you've done, that's amazing. You have accomplished such a big long-term goal and that's not a small thing. Uh, just remember the feeling that you're feeling right now and how you accomplished something despite how difficult it was and despite the challenges that you were facing before and throughout. And I cannot wait to see all the ways that you're gonna change the world and make it better. Hey y'all. My name is Sergio Sanchez, and I am a chemical engineering student at Oregon State University. I'm going to be graduating this uh, June. Currently, I just want to do something that has to do with my community and giving back. A college degree can help because I feel like I want to go into government. I'm majoring in Asian studies with a concentration in East Asian history and a minor in Japanese language and literature. Actually be starting a new program, a veterinary program at Oregon State University for um, four more years and more school. Some of my long-term career goals are actually to go to grad school and get a master's in, in teaching so that I can be a high school chemistry teacher. I want to know the work that I'm doing is important and will benefit people. I also like working with math and numbers mm -hmm. and most of these kind of positions require you to have a college degree. I've definitely been inspired by a lot of my professors um, here at Pomona to continue in education, probably get a graduate degree of some sorts. My long-term goals are to become a certified DVMA veterinarian. After getting my PhD of some sort, I would like to go back and teach and hopefully inspire a lot of other students to be interested in the humanities. My chemical engineering degree is still going to help me out there. You know, I really built a lot of the fundamental knowledge, practicing a lot of my presentation techniques here, and College Possible has really helped me get here. College Possible has given me so many different opportunities to not just share my story, but to meet other um, students who are just as motivated and then also have the opportunity to meet mentors who are who have helped me like a lot. Text them or email them anytime I needed something you know if something was going on in my personal life I could out reach out to them and always have like a you know a friend that I can either talk to. Testing prep that we did and all the information we had to collect regarding scholarships and different colleges themselves. You have someone who's like meeting with you and they like know the types of things that you're part of and going through and they can just like provide any support that you need and I think that's like the best thing about it. It helped me first of all learn that you know private universities, liberal arts colleges are not out of reach for people who are of low income and first generation background and that too um, you know, education's a pretty pretty important thing, and I think a lot of doors, a lot of the people I've met, a lot of the opportunities I've had to study abroad, to intern abroad, to do all sorts of these cool research projects and engage in learning would not have been possible without College Possible reaching out to me when I was a junior in high school back in Portland. It's really helped me learn about the college process, I understand that I'm not alone. Being able to get to know our college hospital coach not only as like someone who told us what to do and acted kind of more like a parent in high school but to be able to associate her as more like a friend and like a colleague. I've been talking a lot about being inspired by my professors at Pomona College but I think what really started that train of inspiration was being able to be with coaches that really were passionate about me getting a good education. So I'd like to thank everyone who's really paved the way to me graduating college and being the first in my family to do that. I wouldn't have been able to be here without all of the people that have been a part of this journey. So thank you all. Kirisotsabur. Much love. Last person to thank. I would like to thank all of you watching because none of this would be possible without the College Possible community as a whole. And for all of you 
uh, all of your support and uh, continued support, especially of College Possible and all of the students that we have here. Bye! You all inspired me so much in something that I probably wouldn't have done when I was your age. You all worked so hard and, and that's absolutely what inspired me. I never doubted your abilities and I've just looked forward to this day and I'm so excited to see what the rest of your life holds and I just know that you're, you all are going to um, be a part of making our world a better place and I'm just so excited to see the part you play in that. And I continue to be inspired by how driven you all are and how hard you work for your goals. Um, and how committed you are to giving back to your community. Make a big move, have an adventure, and fill your days doing things that you love but that also challenge you. Like I hopefully told you all the time when I was your coach, you are amazing and so, so perfect and totally enough just the way you are. So keep owning your process, keep being who you are, and keep being a total inspiration. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you and we can't wait to see what you do next. You guys were super dedicated and you stuck with something. It makes me really proud to hear the news that you know some of you are graduating right now and that you guys are truly dedicated to what you wanted to accomplish. All the work was all on you. You guys totally did it and continuing to like be awesome and doing what you're doing and I really wish everyone the best of luck. You're inspiring those around you and you make a much bigger difference than you realize, including in my life. You were the person that decided you were gonna overcome that obstacle and you were the person who got you to where you were. And you need to celebrate that and enjoy the feeling of um, accomplishment and success. And when you close your eyes and you count to 10, and you have that feeling, it becomes this awesome solidified memory. And in your future, whatever the next step for you is, you'll remember that. You'll remember what that feeling was like and you'll, and you'll chase it to get to the next accomplishment in your life. I think I speak for all College Possible coaches, staff, supporters, when I say thank you all so much for letting us be a part of your journey. Congratulations.